What's going on guys, it's Ricky, back at you with another quick video here. So, I'm actually on the uh, the budget build right now, the i3 system that I just made. Um, trying to do a little bit of testing with that system, but while I was uh, searching for a, you know, a less expensive way of getting uh, Windows activated on this computer, um, I wanted to just inform you guys, there are a couple different options that you guys can use. Um, Paul's Hardware goes over in detail about this whole type thing. I'll actually leave a link in the description below to his video uh, because it's super detailed. It tells you guys exactly how to do this, but um, I'm going to show you guys what I did. Um, I went on to kingwin.com. It's exactly what he lists on his um, video. Um, this site has all sorts of keys and things like that for different games. And then as you can see right here, right on the front page, it has the Windows 10 Professional OEM key. And that's what I use for this system uh, because it 100% worked. Uh, I was, you know, a little bit skeptical, so I did buy the customer. Um, they have an option to buy, like, the customer protection through their site uh, just, just in case something's wrong with the key because when you do buy the key, it comes through a third-party seller. Um, so in case anything's wrong with it, they do protect you. Uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, it's just an extra, I think it was an extra four or five dollars, something like that. So I got it just in case something went wrong with it. So honestly, it was like twenty-seven sixty-one at the base price, but with the protection, it was maybe thirty, thirty-one. And on, like, I mean, come on, that's way better than spending like a hundred something dollars on, uh, you know, actual Windows Pro. Like, so um, yeah, so I got it from here, um, and I kind of will sh something that I wanted to show you guys as well. Um, when I was checking out. I actually, they give you like some offers usually when you're checking out, and usually those are just kind of like, you know, little impulse buys they try to get you with, um, which, you know, normally you'd be like, ah, no, I'm not going to get that, but you know what, I decided just for the sake of science that I wanted to try it, so I'm going to go to my account right here, um, and I'll show you guys what I got, I haven't even opened it yet, so you guys are going to see this for the first time to see what I got here, um, so what this is, is one hot random game, and it was only $3. But the list of games that you could possibly get for that is pretty insane. So before, like, I show you, uh, before I show you, like, actually what uh, I did, I'm gonna show you what they list here for the hot random game. Um, they give you a list of all these different games here that you could possibly get. And when I was going through it, I was like, no way. Like, I mean, I already, I already have Battlefield One, Fallout Four. I already have Siege on a uh, PlayStation. But then again, there's also Doom on here. And like I like that game, and I actually don't even have that game. I'd love to get it for my uh, for my benchmark test. So that'd be kind of cool. I mean, any of the Assassin's Creed games, Dragon Age Origins is on here. I have never played that game. That'd be pretty sweet. I mean, even if I get one of these weird games, I mean, come on. There's like Need for Speed, Duke Nukem Forever, uh, Empire Total War, Splinter Cell Blacklist. Like any of these games look pretty cool. There's only a couple of them on here that I don't know what the heck they are. But like, you know, all these games they look. They look pretty, you know, they look pretty quality. They, they also was an offer for like 10 uh, Steam keys, which I've seen those before. I've seen the videos on those. And when people do those, they get a bunch of crap. And like, I, yeah, you know, I'm, it's games you're going to be in your Steam library. You're never going to play it. So I'm not, I didn't want to screw with that. So I figured, you know, whatever, uh, I might as well just get one. So yeah, it's going to show you this 530 right here, but I didn't pay for that because like when you... Um, when you check out, they they give you uh, a little discount with it, so it ended up being like three bucks. And then I did include the uh, the buyer protection with it because if you get that and you end up buying a game that you already have, they'll let you return it and they'll give you another key for a different game. So you just have to I probably you probably just have to prove in your Steam library that you already have it. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna go back to my account and we are going to open this up and see what I got. All right. This War of Mine. Oh my god, I hope this is good. That's not any of the games that I was looking to, at getting. But, <laughs> okay. Uh, can I copy and paste it? No, I actually have to go to Steam and disactivate it. Let's see here. So, well, okay, this is... Is that the one I got? Wow, this is overwhelmingly positive. Very positive. No way. Okay, that's pretty cool. So what is this, a, a side-scroller game? Okay, okay. Anyway, guys, so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that and uh, kind of how um, kind of how I, I, I just did this just for fun. So, uh, yeah, so it looks like I got a uh, $20 game for $3. All right, guys, so my impatience got the best of me, and uh, I just went and go ahead and went ahead and I actually bought Doom uh, because it was pretty cheap on this site. It was like 15 bucks, uh, and I really wanted to get it. Um, 
And then I ended up <laughs> going for another hot random game again. It was 350. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got in this one. So mostly positive reviews, not bad. Um, I think I'm pretty sure this game has been out for a long time. Um, yeah, who knows? Maybe I'll give it a shot, see if it's any fun. You know, whatever. It's got not bad reviews. It's kind of it's probably like Borderlands and stuff like that. Um, yeah. So I mean, it's got really good reviews. Uh, it's only ten dollars. So I mean. I got it at a discount. I still got it half, like more than half off, so that's pretty cool. All right, so back to the Windows licensing thing. Yeah, so I mean, some of you might be really skeptical about it. I know I was. I was. That's why I bought the buyer protection with it when I uh, went to this site and did the Windows and got the Windows 10 professional thing. Um, but it ended up working great. Um, uh, it was still just a peace of mind to have that protection or whatever. So I, I do suggest getting that just in case something goes wrong with it because it is, like I said, through a third-party seller. Um, but everything was great. Um, initially, I did the Windows installation. It took the key. Everything was fine. And then when I actually got into the desktop, um, it did say I needed to activate it. Um, and I tried to just activate it just from uh, you know, the settings menu, and it wouldn't work at that point. It, was, it said that uh, it was being used by another computer. So at that point, I was like, oh, man, I got a, I got a fake key, or I need a, you know, somebody else used it, and then I got to get a different one. So I was going to create a support ticket, but then they suggest you actually talk to a genuine uh, Microsoft representative. So that's what I did. I got online with them and did live chat, and then I uh, gave him the key. He gave, they give you a confirmation code and you use that confirmation code to actually activate Windows and now everything works fine. My whole Windows uh, system is um, activated, everything is genuine um, and that came straight from a Microsoft representative. I gave him the key and he said the key was uh, legit and it worked, worked great. So if you guys are skeptical about it, um, I highly suggest that it does work. Um, just make sure you go with one of the more reputable sellers, um, even if it is a little bit more. Uh, just make sure they have a lot of really, really good positive reviews and then you'll be good to go. So. That's all it's going to be for this video. I just wanted to show you guys uh, this little fun thing that I did here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. So if you guys did, go ahead and leave a comment for me down below. Make sure you guys give me a like. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, stay tuned to the channel. Make sure you guys subscribe for more uh, computer videos, more adventure videos, and uh, more gym videos. So we'll see you guys later. Peace.